Slay boots. I haven't gone live in so long. We're telling your followers that you started a live video. They'll all be shocked. They will all be shocked. They say, what is happening here on this day? Honestly. This is Barbara Walters now. Feel old here. <laughs> Woo! Hello, friends. What is up? I know, my voice sounds amazing, flawless, wild. It means the seasons are changing, so I'm congested. But it also means it's not as hot as the surface of the sun. So we're going to roll with the BBs. Should I be concerned? I mean, for me? For me? I don't know. Well, your mom. Be concerned or not if you want. Concerned that I'm starting a live? I mean, I it, we have been posting. This is, this is a planned thing. Uh, so tell me you don't watch your, my stories without saying you don't watch my stories. Um, yeah, no, we're here. We're here. Not the show I'm on, but we are on my live. We're gonna go live with Jade and Davey from Black Audio and talk about their new album. Get into it and be nice. Please be nice. I don't know how to bring them in. I don't know if they're here yet. We'll find out. Invite to join... Um, Miss Ma'am. Ah, uh, da, 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 da. Come on. Why is technology so difficult? We'll give them, we'll give them a minute. Let's go, bestie. You look fab. Thanks. Also, controversial opinion that has no business being here. Is it weird to call people bestie and be, like, not ironic about it? Like, do y'all call your best friends besties in public? Or is it, like, an internet thing? Because I think I want to start doing that, but to antagonize my bestie. Candy Cane's here? Who's Candy Cane? Ooh, do, 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 do. What's everyone up to? Thank you. Yes, I did win an Emmy. Thank you. Bum, bum. This. Let's see. Let's see. Are we? Why can't... Sorry, I'm trying to invite them in. I'm not seeing requests to join in, which is irritating. I have no requests. That's fine. Maybe they're not here yet. Um, there's so many people here. How is everyone? Technology sucks shit. I stand by that. Very grateful for, like, Google Maps and, like, help, but this is... Do I need to restart this? Do I need to restart? Fine, I'll restart. I'll restart. Someone asked if I'm single. Does it look like I'm single? Yes. <laughs> I'm not going... Cause I've been waiting for a miracle. Um, da, 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 da. Why won't this accept? I'm sideways. I'm I sideways. hear voices. Hello. Do you see me? I see you. Why can't I see you? How does this work? I don't know. I thought you'd be more of an expert than me. You know, 
I'm very weathered in my mind and experiences, so I just, I can't keep up sometimes. Do I need to start this over? I see you, so that's a good sign. That's one good sign. Oh, that's, I think that's subjective, like art. You got this filter. How do I get this filter? Um, I think you have I'm to not... put it on before. Who says I have a filter? I'm, I'm just not... naturally glowing. There we go. Are you sparkling? Oh, I'm not sparkling. There we are. The Wi-Fi works, folks. It's not fair. I want to sparkle. I know. It's like, how do we... I'm not sparkling. I feel like I missed the memo. I'm just glowing because it's almost October. <laughs> and both of us can't see, whereas Layla can see and looks better. This is terrible. We have to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been fun. It has been a blast. We appreciate, we appreciate you. Your, your, your glory eclipses ours. Um, hello? How are you two? I have to go inside. It's, it's, it's too warm out here. Hi, Layla. Congratulations on your Emmy. Thank you so much. Congratulations on another new album. Thank you. I know. The Emmy, Emmy winning, multi hyphenate, quadruple threat. You know, you just got to do a little bit of everything all the time to try to keep up, allegedly. I can't wait, I can't wait till you get that Grammy, Grammy, Emmy, and Tony next year. So we can imagine you know, all in one year, too. In just shit, one year. One yeah. foul swoop. With one release, it'll be one song. <laughs> <laughs> Have me as a feature. I'll just like, I won't even sing. I'll just talk and then we'll all, you know, there grab you it. If not, there's always a GLAAD award and we can fake it. What's there the, you go. What's the Layla McQueen musical for the Tony? Um, ooh. I think the musical is going to be called Just Why. <laughs> <laughs> keep it vague. Keep it, you know, keep it interesting. It's an original. How are you two? It's been a while. I feel like we've had a couple things we've supposed to have done together. I know. That COVID keeps keeps us apart. Like yeah, everything's falling through. What, what a nightmare. Think? Everything's fallen through. You've managed to do some things. Yeah, I, yeah I've been busy. But last time, so last, time we saw you, last time we saw you was at DragCon. In the before times. Yeah, I know. That was just like a million years ago. Has it been, like, they, they did do do it this year right they did it was actually the first one since it was the first one in la since the one we were all out uh, and i think i think afi was playing not drag con <laughs> but i think we were playing the same night or something there was, I, I, there was oh something yeah I we, were. Had to do. we were yeah we were playing the Palladium I, that night really had to do it i don't think it was just like i was at roxy music I was in Roxy Music, but we're not really Roxy Music at all, are we? Be cool, know, though. I, Much cooler, really. I, re nope. I remember feeling conflicted about having to be in drag at 6 a.m. rather than, like, going to a show. Oh. <laughs> not still in drag at 6 a.m. Yeah, but... you probably have still been in drag at 6 a.m. before. No. What do you think I'm doing? I That was a work weekend. Drag con is work. It was a work weekend. I had to be responsible. Yeah, okay. <laughs> There's an so, after at my house now. It's like my backyard. There's a what? There's an after hours party. There's oh, a shit. An after hours During party. During DragCon? Or at, just generally? Yeah, generally. Like, yeah. Kind Can of. You got a list? It's, it's at my house. So you'll never see me again. I get a plus one. I'll yeah, see. I know. So I can bring, I can get you in. I know someone. Oh, nice. <laughs> I know someone. Um, y'all, I have been to record stores that have been open for years that I feel like do not have the discography that you two have. Oh. You release so much music all the time. And that's not a complaint. You know, well, when you got, when, when you got I, one ability, you got to really exploit it. You know what I th Jade's right. And you know what I thought you were going to say was that you've been to record stores that don't have our records, which is my friend. <laughs> so we're from, we're from Berkeley and Oakland. And so we've, we've come full circle where it was really difficult to find our records in the early 90s at these record stories. And then they started having them. And then we were like the local favorites. And then a couple other people heard about us. And now it's gone back to they have no idea that we release records and you can't find our records. <laughs> What, are, what are record stores? What are these record like stores? Like physical ones? 
Listen, yeah. you're talking to someone, I know I'm younger, but I still I still buy DVDs. I still go Whoa. to places and buy DVDs. Even I don't, and I'm 77 years old. He's Layla from back then, and I don't have a DVD player anymore, nor a screen. I actually bought a second DVD player during the pandemic, because I decided Whoa. I need to watch movies in my room. DVD. Yeah. All right. That's wow. one. I have okay, some DVD. Layla, you can you can come and rummage through. Gladly. Before yeah. or after this house party? During. I mean, do we During. have to go? <laughs> too much too much mountains of Um, so I'm gonna ask something embarrassing. How do you pronounce the name of this new album? Who knows? We're not French. Do you, you don't speak French? <laughs> I believe no. it's Tu de Mont. Tu de Mont. Avec Tu de Mont. Someone out there is French and going, that is terribly inaccurate. Terrible pronunciation. My friend gave me this perfume from Louis once and it smells beautiful. Cannot pronounce it. Mm -hmm. I even like had to Google how to say it and it just sounds like a mumble. No. Our, our French is like, I mean, we could say Foucault, Baudelaire, Sartre. I know all the lyrics to Lady Marmalade. That's the... Je suis fatigué. Uh, We're just trying to sound far. pretentious by naming our album something French. We did. <laughs> you know, I, it's interesting. Why? Oh, I recall. Okay, I, I'm like there was a path that was a slightly, slightly less pretentious that um, led to the thought of calling the record "Avec Tout de Mort," which was originally what I had suggested, which came from the path began in a song that. Uh, I referenced on we and then later in the lyric wrote Avec Tout de Mont because I had referenced on we prior to that so I went with French twice and then I named the song that and then and then the the, the reference <laughs> being of course the closing salutation and nod to the clothing closing salutation of letters which people used to write and in some of those closing salutations you would say with love and uh, it struck me that the play on that with with too much love was relevant to many, many things um, that I was writing about at the time and consistently write about over the course of my redundancy in writing. <laughs> <laughs> Due to that redundancy, which I felt was really encompassed by that title, I suggested to Jade um, that it would be possibly a good title for the record in its entirety. And... Um, he suggested truncating it, which then, of course, like makes it broader. And it's like you probably didn't realize that it was a salutation nod because we took off the VEC, um, which kind of opened it up to even a, a broader interpretation of that concept of, um, you know, well, I mean, I could get into deconstructing thoughts of obsession, passions, and so on and so forth, so forth that could be disregarded or belittled or uh, destructive that led to the title to them all well no one liked my suggestion disco shitheads so <laughs> i i like disco shitheads yeah, I like okay. that thank That's you why. oh man i hope he doesn't tell layla because it'll be two against one yeah i mean um, you're talking listen if i could read write or do math i don't think i'd be doing drag on the internet <laughs> Actually, <laughs> or actually, or. <laughs> I've heard you're illiterate. I'm glad to know that rumor is true. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Disco we... shitheads can be the B side. People are laughing. Yeah, every, everyone is oh, going to be funny. telling us disco shitheads from like now until eternity. I shouldn't have said that. Hey, I see. Honestly, what's disco shitheads in French? Ah. Uh. Uh. Well, well, the, is shit, right? well, I could tell us how to say disco shitheads in French. I'm now, I'm now addressing the this little scroll of humans that are here that I didn't even realize. You know, sometimes they're really lovely and sometimes they're not. So, you know, I have a... All right, they, you just got a lip gloss compliment. I don't think they were talking to either Jade or I. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get in on this. Have you ever seen the movie Tu Wong Fu? Yeah, of course. Yes. The show. 
I felt like <laughs> the way y'all were, not to keep harping on how many <laughs> albums you always release, but I felt <laughs> like coming on to this live, like when she's like, another year gone by, it's time to crown a new drag queen. I'm like, another year goes by, and Black Audio releases another album. Yeah, you know what, Layla, we have 31 new songs recorded, I shit you not. Like, that are not out? I mean, let's keep it real, though. We've been together. We've been doing this thing for, like, over 20 years, and we only have six albums, so that's not that crazy. Is it only six? You're, only reacting, six? you're reacting to the deluge of music that has been coming out from the two of us in the past, like, five years. Yeah. But, but Jade is correct that we did go. What a lot of people don't know about Black Audio is that it began in around 2000 and 2001, but because Jade and I are in this other band that happened to sign to a major label at that point and write and release the largest commercial success that we've had to date, we became so busy and that we were unable to actually track the first Black Audio record and release it or even be allowed to release it until 2007, which was six years after our inception. And so, uh, Sex Cells came out in 2007. Did That's... you write Sex Cells in 2001? Well, we began writing Black Audio songs. Jay, did anything from that those early periods? No. I, I mean, our early stuff was like, you know, that mm -mm. July to day. We were I kind mean, of find, finding our way, you know. What a relief. Um, yeah. And then, and then I, I think about this quite a bit. It's very frustrating. We had Bright Black Heaven, which is now 10 years 10 years old. We had Bright Black Heaven ready to go in 2008, but our beloved then a &R guy, Luke Wood, we stood outside of uh, Henson Studios with him, Jade and I saying, please, can we put out this record? And, and Black Audio was on Interscope and AFI was on Interscope at the time. And Luke said, I can't put this record out now because we can't have two Black Audio records come out in a row where people think well, AF, AFI will have, people will think AFI broke up. And we said, that's asinine. And he said, I don't care, you can't put it out. And we said, well, please let us go and let us put it out on an indie. He said, I can't let you go. Your record sold copies, I'll get fired. <laughs> <laughs> this probably happens to a lot of people. I mean, I feel like we're not the only ones that have faced this kind of thing. But now sure. like, we're putting out a record out every week. So we we're making yeah, up for it. Because we're not no label. Well, yeah. listen, may maybe it just feels like I have, like, no concept of time, but I feel like you're... Con and I'm not, again, very grateful for new music. I was like, I haven't fully listened, listened to this album, like, in its entirety to, like, focus on the words. But I was, like, walking right, around and, like, running errands and <laughs> leaves. <laughs> um, but they're always great. Like, I really like... Um, oh, my God. What was the one I was just listening to? I really like Sharp Teeth. People. I was like, it's this very, it's, it's so, um, the vibe of your songs is so like, I feel like they're relaxing and comforting to me, but I can still kind of like get an amped up energy. Like I'm getting ready to go out or we're like just out coming home or like something like I was walking to the post office, like really kind of going, going at it and sweating a little more than I should publicly. <laughs> Never. Always. <laughs> Shit. What's your favorite song this time around? Oh boy. That's hard. Uh, we don't have any objectivity when it comes to these things. Sharp Teeth, I really like that song though. Okay, so you haven't done a show with this album yet, correct? Mm -hmm. And the first one is going to be at the Fonda this Theater. Theater Saturday. In Los Sorry. Angeles. <laughs> Saturday. Are you sure? <laughs> Come Friday, make sure. Get a good place. <laughs> yeah, if you want to stand in line for 24 hours, come Friday. Yeah. Um, just make sure you get in. Uh, but yeah, Saturday at the Fonda Theater in lovely Hollywood, California. It's probably beautiful. the only time we'll play this year, so, or for the yeah. foreseeable future, so you should come. Yeah, you should come. We haven't, we played, actually the intention was to get this record out prior to Cru Cruel World. Um, that's one of the reasons you're seeing a lot of music. Jade and I were talking and um, I, I had said to Jade, wow, I, Bodies, the AFI record came out during the quarantine. So like came out in a void and there was no playing on it. And it, to me, it's in a way emotionally, like it never came out and there wasn't a record. And then I realized 
oh, we did release an AFI record. Let's put out a Black Audio record. And, just, <laughs> uh, and so we had the Cruel World dates booked since 2019. We were supposed to play Cruel World in 2020, which um, for those of you who don't know, was this truly amazing festival here in Southern California that was two days long with Bauhaus and Morrissey and Psychedelic Furs and Public Image Limited and the church, like unbelievable. Uh, and so the intention was to write and record this to the more record prior to Cruel World and have it out for Cruel World. Um, as usually goes with us, that didn't happen, took much longer. It's and the Cruel World. It's a Cruel World. But <laughs> at Cruel World, tracks released and we played, um, we played Blue Cherry. So we premiered Blue Cherry at Cruel World, which is the only song off this record that has been performed live. Uh, and now on Saturday, not Friday, at the Henry Fonda Theater in Hollywood, California, we'll be there playing we go. off of this new record, which I am very much looking forward to. Okay, so then let me rephrase that instead of what's your favorite. Which one are you looking forward to doing live the most? I'm really looking forward to do um, to doing absolute scenes in rehearsing for this record uh i realized that that was the one that i have yet to really sing um other than in the studio because we for me because we perform cowboy nights over and over and over again in the cowboy nights video i feel like i have performed it to an extent i'm really looking forward to, to doing that for an audience as well but absolute scenes is a song i've only sung to jade puget Shit, you just reminded me. I forgot to rehearse. Well, we'll, <laughs> we'll rehearse together on Friday. Okay, okay, great. One rehearsal will be enough. On Friday, while people are in line for Saturday. Right. Yeah. Um, that's a, okay. So a weird thought, total random trajectory. When you film music videos, do you actually perform, or are you mainly lip syncing? Do you full on? He does. I you do. sing, right? You sing. You don't yeah. have to, but you do, right? Yeah, I can't help it. I, yeah. I, yeah, I do. I do sing, and in modern times, particularly with black audio, that is beneficial. I, I feel it. It really helps me connect more. Well, as I just said, I, I can't help it. So to to say it helps me or doesn't help me doesn't matter. I'm doing it. I, I am generally singing. So are you fully like mic'd loud audio, or are you kind of screaming over a track? No, I'm I'm singing over the track. Uh, it's not necessary for the, you know, for the director or or the other person that's there, <laughs> or, the, or the cameraman to hear me. Um, but these days, you know, there was a time where there were very very elaborate uh, video production sets. But these days, it's me singing over a, a, a boombox that's turned up as loud as it can, uh, and I'm only singing to really feel it myself. Right. I, I just, I've never thought of that because I've also, all the music videos I've worked on have just been pre-recorded tracks. Like, it's not like a band that's playing music. It's not, it's usually just like one person doing yes. a bunch of different things. So I guess I never thought about that because oh my god, sorry. Yeah, it's, it's like when you're in a band, like playing an instrument, it's pretty freaking dorky because you're rocking out and you're not playing for real. You know, there's nothing plugged in. So it is kind of corny, but it's just, that's the way it goes. It doesn't show though, you know, it is, it's one it of doesn't. those things. It just feels really dumb when you're doing it, but you just have to kind of get into it. But yeah, it feels, it's kind of embarrassing even if you've made 20 videos like we have. Boom, not only 20? I think we, we've made about 20 videos. Yeah, we didn't make a lot of videos in the early days. Like there's no video for the, for, speaking of AFI or, or, or actually Black Audio, there's, there, we did make a video on the, um, on the Sex Cells record, but that was a debacle that we knew was going to be a debacle. It's another, it's another story of Red Label and our same beloved a and guy. <laughs> but um, yeah, there was no, there was no video that got released off of Sex Cells. And then as the early days of AFI, there was no, video on the first record and then there was only one video on the second record one video on the third no video on jade's first record which was the fourth afi record oh yeah why don't we make a video anyway see, we're not here to have talk done about so many projects you are losing track of what is what <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. 
I mean, I stand that, by all my previous statements. You're not wrong, Layla. It's like I'm. I'm always concerned going into these interviews because people will ask about things that I just have lost over the course. Maybe she's. Of, maybe she's right. Maybe we need to tone it down. One record every ten years. I'm not saying that. No, no, don't hold me responsible for. It. I'm not saying that. Now I'll get oh. eaten alive in the comments. You, if you don't release a record next week, I'm gonna have death threats. Well, we can. We can, yeah. You're sitting on 31 songs? We have 3.5. Yeah, you're you're going right? to get death threats from our management now, though, by telling us to release. Oh, oh it's going to be uh, pitchforks and torch-wielding villagers. Torch-wielding villagers. Again, <laughs> illiterate. Cart Cart-wheeling villagers. Cart-wheeling villagers. That's even more threatening. I agree. <laughs> um, Renaissance fair. No one wants that. Nobody wants that. Nobody. And I'm sorry to anyone who's in here who loves Renaissance Fair, but no one wants it. <laughs> All right. Layla and I are together on this. I think Jade Puget's our third. Is it I'm a three to three? The not big turkey leg on stage. I don't know. Something about... I'm not going to get into it. You know, this isn't the time or place to dog walk Renaissance people. I'm not going to yeah. yuck their yum, as the kids say. Is that what they say? <laughs> yuck their yum? I'm like not that. gonna That's yuck good. your yum. That's good. I like that one. Um, I don't know if I can say this, but it's very upsetting uh, that we were—I was supposed to be with y'all for the Cowboy Nights video, and it just oh. didn't work out. I know. That's oh. a bummer, but it looks very cool. As jealous as I am that I wasn't there. Thank you. Thank you. You gotta be in our. You gotta be in our next one. It's Please. Like, there's too many things that were that you're always been like gracious enough to like be like yeah i want to be involved when we ask you and then it falls Always. through well you're good people you're fun it's all fun i'm very game we all we all have chaotic schedules so it's not like yeah. any it's not personal it's just a bummer are you home or are you here layla i'm back in chicago right okay. now we were film. we filmed that's like that's the thing when we film this show we film season three and we film from April to September, and the schedule fluctuates between days. So it's very, very chaotic when we're doing it. But now I'm home for a minute. I think, well. We're playing in Chicago, so if you're going to be in Chicago, you need to come out yeah. to the show. I think in um, October, um, yeah. November. October or November, yeah. November. I'll look it up. I I feel like I had dates written down and then everything changed. So I'll not black audio. If you're ever around, I will. I wish you black. Up. Book us a black audio show in Chicago, Layla, please. Say that again. Can you book a black audio show in Chicago for us, please? I'll get right on top of that. Thank you. So bl the black audio show you did in Chicago in 2019 was, I think, my first concert in like five years or something or four wow. years and it was it was so fun it was just exactly what you needed it was in a venue that wasn't like it was more intimate not small but like just it was like a theater because i'm honestly these like g for people performing and it's like sold out great like these like stadium shows like it's it's great for y'all as an audience <laughs> member, I, I love being, like, up close, like, oh, yeah. personal, like, not, like, in a seat looking at, like, so far away. But make the money. I'm not judging. <laughs> well, you'd be surprised. The money doesn't come necessarily when you're playing the larger show. It all goes into the glitter that's all over your face. I told you I'm just naturally glowing. Okay, but when <laughs> we get on stage in a larger show, you got to pay for the glitter. It's, uh, yeah, it's, uh -oh. it's like... Yeah, the bigger the show, the more the production. Yeah, it's it it it's kind of annoying because, as you said, the 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 intimate shows are 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 very fun, and it's kind of the same thing. That Chicago show was a lot of fun. I I remember seeing you. We've talked about this. We didn't know each other, but I remember I remember seeing no, you. No, because so that show happened. Like I I I don't know how it was like a couple days before. And I saw someone post something on Instagram. I was like, Black Audio's in Chicago. So I was like, Wait. I called my friend. I was like, let's go. Why not? Like, let's do it. I really haven't been to a show in a while. I actually have never seen Black Audio live. I was like, let's go do it. And we went and it was so good. And then a couple days later, the DragCon announcement came out and I called World of Wonder and I said, 
figure out something. I want to meet them. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. For those wait, of you who uh, announced Black Audio when we performed DragCon uh, 2019. So we'll have to do it again. We'll have to have a reunion, the three when of you us. Call, when you call World of Wonder, does RuPaul pick up the phone? No. <laughs> No, I'm, no. I'm assuming that you called the world of water and it's like her desk, you know, and she And I, I say I called, I emailed one person who does all the YouTube videos and I'm like, hey, hello, Peter. Hey, Pete. Layla, have you been to the World of Wonder offices? Of course. Do you know what the mask is? The mask? So those offices are above the venue that punk came from in Los Angeles. Like the first wave of punk started at this venue called The Mask that was in the basement that you enter off the alley of the, through the south. Like of literally the basement of World of Wonder? That's insane. Yeah. I think there are trappings of the past. I think if you can get down there, you can see some of the graffiti. We're talking about like the Screamers and early Go-Go's and the Germs and X and that. I'm sure. So the the basement of World of Wonder is kind of, it's kind of wild not to pull the curtain back on anyone, but like all of their like YouTube shows and everything are all filmed down there. It's just a oh. giant green screen. Oh, but there's yeah. also like a tiny dressing room, but then the rest of the basement is like a, like a basement basement. It's like has just like, uh, I mean, stockpile of stuff they've used on the show, props, random things. So I haven't gone actively looking, but I'm sure there are still remnants and rooms of. There's got. I'm sure. If especially because it's it's and not renovated. It is not <laughs> rebuilt. There's remnants of it. What are we saying? Teach a college course on the history of punk. Professor Hey, thank you. Um, you know, I only know what I said. I, I, I wish I had been there, sort of, although if I had been there at that point, I might not actually still be alive. Um, but that would probably be okay, too. Build the tea. What it's tea? It's getting dark. Yeah. It's getting dark. Oh, we, we broke Layla. Oops. I see. I see. Technology is not my thing. It's not you my thing. I'm trying to. You on. It froze your computer. How many times? Computer? I know. Okay. You, have, you have no filters on, I know. No filter and a com Natural if flawless. I did this on a computer, it would be even worse. Like the space bar doesn't even work on my computer. This is like we're just phone. like the camera yeah. weird. Like I can't so I can send a photo because there's no memory left on it. It's terrible. You guys are on the Android oh. over there. Yeah, Android. <laughs> that was the most insulting thing I could have said. I'm sorry. Android. We are just being. No, I thought this was a nice little get together, a nice little interview. No, now Android I'm just being roasted. We can't, we can't come for Android people because that's mean, and th then you'll really get the hate. Um, you know, the pitchforks really come out. So you get no, well, you get more hate if you have an Android than if you say you don't <laughs> like Androids. I love all phone people. <laughs> Interview. <laughs> oh, is there, is there I, also had the, I, I also had a really cute outfit for um all this like day glow black uh black light for the video. Ah. What made you want to do all that? What was the inspiration? Oh yeah, yeah. Head on the door. <laughs> People were like, is that head on the door? The answer is yes. We could call it homage. We could call it straight thievery, but um, but that was the inspiration. Was was the uh, the imagery from from head on the door and uh you know i was discussing it with adam our director who's directed countless black audio videos well i guess a few there aren't countless black audio <laughs> videos directed um i don't know how many you have in the can that you haven't released yet i mean you said you have 31 songs videos, who knows how many videos too i wish i wish we could make videos for each of the songs for many songs but um the uh those those days are gone, unfortunately. But Adam makes wonderful, wonderful videos, and he always really understands the direction um, and elevates it, and really gets the references. And uh, Adam is British and loves fields of nephilim. And uh, when we were talking about it, he understood the Cure reference, and I was hoping to do a bit of a twist on 
but it's pretty much on the nose. However, I was looking it up. Jade, have you, you know, when I when we were talking about that going in that direction, I was trying to figure out which video they did that makeup in and I couldn't find a video. I think it was just stills. There wasn't actually a cure video where they were doing it. I thought it was close to me. I'm almost positive there I've seen actual video. So, like so was I couldn't find it. Someone call us out here on the chat. Tell us it's which got to be. that because it wasn't um it wasn't later. I mean it wasn't Kiss Me, it wasn't Why Can't I Be You? And then I it had to have been Head on the Door era, but I just didn't know um let's see, just like Kevin. Okay, I'm talking about AFI, that's not relevant here. Um <laughs> I was trying to I was trying to Google like cure video where they're wearing paint and it came up cure video where they're playing paintball. Seriously, I think exists. By... I hope, which I hope doesn't yeah. exist. So, de um, delay bouquet said it's it's in between days, and I think that's right. Or, oh yeah, it's in between days. You guys are saying yeah, that's what it is. So deep in our memory, we recall the in between days. <laughs> so, <laughs> how close it is to in between days, we don't know because I, I didn't remember it was that exact video. Uh, but yeah, honestly. Who doesn't love a little homage? Mm -hmm. I we don't, call I don't it an think. homage. How dare Let's you say we're ripping them off? Homage. Let's do that. Well, you know, ripping off, considering I've been doing drag for so long and drag is truly um, ripping apart, ripping off everyone and combining <laughs> it to do your own thing. <laughs> so I think it's the manner in which it's uh, presented, right? Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. so. Absolutely. <laughs> Put your own spin on history. Also, I mean, people love, like, like especially when, like, you, the more, the longer you do things, you acquire new listeners, new followers, new people of different demographics and age ranges. So sometimes, like, a nostalgic, a throwback, an homage, it, like, help, it, it makes people be like, oh, my God, I remember that. And then it also is, like, kind of sheds a new light on something someone didn't know. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're with you, Layla. This says Davy and drag when. <laughs> Let's do it. I have an Emmy for putting people in drag. Y'all would look gorgeous. <laughs> we already did it. Just not as well. Uh, yeah, you. When was that? You were in drag in like 96. Six? 96. I was forget about that. She loved, she loved a, a frosted blue eyeshadow and a lash. Well, no, even well before. Well before. Uh, she did, but before that, I was actually, I did a, um, Matt Wedgley, who used to tour with AFI, who was in a hardcore band called the Circus Tents, and a hardcore band called The Force with Hunter. Um, he had a record label called Wedge Records, and he put out the AFI Fly in the Ointment 7-inch, and he also did a compilation called Punk Fiction, and um, I did Uma Drag for the cover. You did what drag? Uma Thurman. In what outfit? In the Pulp Fiction, in the, yeah. Um, the yeah. uh, what's her name? On the bed, the, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Her name, guys. Proper drag, Uma Thurman. No, I know her name's Uma Thurman, but what's the character's name? Mia, Mia, Mia. I'm not gonna lie, I've seen it once and I do not recall. You've only Pulp Fiction once. Well, I have no excuse. Yeah, Mia what though? What's her last name? Mia Morris? Yeah, Mia Morris, right? It's Mia Wallace. Mia Wallace, the Mia Wallace of drag. <laughs> People are very nice in the comments today. It's very refreshing. Wonderful. How lovely. Your fans are so lovely. They're they all so are. nice. They, they really, really are. It's really wonderful. It's really wonderful. I mean, I think at this point, like, you know, decades and decades into us making music and releasing it over and over again, I think at this point... <laughs> If you're upset, you probably left a long time ago. That's fair. I also think that, um, I think you two are very genuine and authentic. And I think that always shows in your work and when you're live and when we, you do things like this or interviews or podcasts, I, I never get a sense of like, we've been doing this forever. We're doing da 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 or just releasing music. It all always feels very, um, it always feels authentic. And I think that really speaks volumes of people's personalities especially in 2022 especially in music and performance anything creative that 
intersects with Hollywood sometimes gets a little weird. And I don't think that that, that has happened for either of you. Thank you. Thank you. We yeah. it. We love it. I cannot wait to play this Saturday. So much so that I can't Friday. <laughs> Jay, and are Friday. Jay and I are playing on Friday to an audience of two. Maybe one. One, right, Jade? Just Why, whoever is, whoever's in line. Yeah. <laughs> There's no one else there, just the two of you? When we rehearse, just our sound guy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is it you bring him in or is he part of the venue? No, we don't rehearse at the venue. Oh. We rehearse in like some depressing warehouse. Well, enough about my apartment. We're yeah. Need to rehearse. <laughs> yeah, we rehearse. People, I, I think rehearsing at the venue only occurs when it's a very, very large production, Katy Perry type of business. Yeah. I guess that makes I again I'm I'm used to the shows of us rehearsing at the you know place. And yeah. That, yeah. That's fun. Get How, lovely. How lovely. Well it was lovely to talk to you and to see you but again. Likewise. It's been Is there anything long. else you want to plug about this album, about anything about it? Come and get our 75th album. It's out now. We're, looking <laughs> for it. um, we're playing this Saturday as much as Davey Havoc would like you to think. We're playing Friday. It's actually Saturday at the Fonda Theater. Other than that, that's all we got to plug. That's hey, it. Uh, wander around Los Angeles on Friday to an abandoned warehouse and maybe you'll get a preview. <laughs> Actually, yeah. as a joke, I feel like do not walk around random warehouses in LA. It's either rats. it's either a music video set or pure danger. There is no gray area. <laughs> don't, don't do it, Layla. Thank you. You're beautiful. Thank you so much. It's so lovely to see you too. Me Love too. the album. We'll I can't you. wait to see you live eventually and um, force myself into another music video for real. <laughs> Thank you. You're going to be in the next one 100%. Lovely. Well, you've said it. There's wit There's currently 299 witnesses. So. All right. All right. Awesome. Thank you, guys. It was Thanks. great to see you. Thank you. Everyone, thank, you for, thank you for all the yeah. nice things. And congrats. Bye. Bye. Thank you. See ya. Oh, okay. Now, here's the deal. How do I, how do I save this? Asked to save. Thanks everyone for being so nice. Um, sometimes these lives get a little off the rails. So if you're here from me for Black Audio, either way, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being lovely. Sorry we didn't get your questions. I have a, I have a hard time reading, talking, and looking, and paying attention. If anyone else can relate, I am queer. I have childhood trauma and ADHD so get with it and thanks for being nice see y'all okay